Missouri Tigers, Tiller, Taylor, Kim English, Justin Stafford, and Keith Ramsey. Well, to our live audience, welcome to Columbia. The pressure's been ratcheted up. The pressure is now. It'll still be in 30 minutes from now, game time. The pressure, we call it cumulative. Maybe effective early, and it has been. Three on the way, yes. Back to his apartment, so he slept in the gym overnight just to work on his game, and early in this game pays off. He's only a sophomore, but he has a lot of confidence in his ability. Zaire Taylor reverses and scores. Ball is thrown away. That's three turnovers against the Wildcats. Now watch the pressure now. It's man-to-man -man pressure. But whenever they can randomly trap, and there's a timeout. That's good. That's twice in the early goal. And twice confusion with the pressure in case states had to use a timeout. Here's Sutton. Left-handed dribble. Ball is blocked inside. And they're going to call an offensive foul. You know, Kim English loves to put that ball up. He's a prolific scorer. But if you play for Mike Anderson, you've got to sacrifice your body. Safford for three. Nope, it's not there. Tip English gets it back. And he scores the easy putback. And, and they have taken this crowd out of him, too, Ron. Yep, they really have. As Bowers takes it strong to the basket. And a shoot a three. Way outside block. Hand on it, and the defensive play. Nice job by Bowers. Deep in the corner for three. Got it. Marcus Denman. Excellent and long at this. Great ball movement out of the pressure. Taylor swings it quickly. Just a catch and shoot by Marcus Denman. That went off the mark. Here's Tiller. JT off in the left wing. Denman passed up the three. Ramsey cut it down the middle. For these two teams. Up in Staten Island, New York. English along the baseline. Back out on top. Driving the lane and getting the shot to go good. Coming at us, but take a look. Great look by Kim English. And then watch the little floater by Denman over Enrique. And as a result, almost stolen. Zaire Taylor right here in front of us at the table. And he's okay. Almost stolen. You see Zaire Taylor applauding himself. Shot clock runs to zero. A 10-point lead just moments ago has evaporated. Ramsey along the baseline, reverses, wouldn't go, tip inside, and that's going to be Bowers, a three-point lead, Tigers. It's, it's going to be a 20-minute game in the second half. Enriquez in the fall away, wouldn't go, there's the horn. It's a 15-2 run, it's still a three-point ball game, 36-33. Gentlemen, we're having fun. About it at halftime. They committed a lot of fouls in their double figures early as the runner, they score it, and an opportunity for Safford to pick up a third point. Get great ball movement there, but they spread the floor enough to allow Safford, who's a pretty crafty player, the junior from Bloomington, Illinois. Bounce pass taken yep. away by Taylor. Out the pass to Tiller. A Jamar Samuels. Oh, too much lane. Pullman, boy, he missed the shot point blank. And the ball is blocked by Ramsey. Hang on. Over the table is English. <laughs> hey, we're getting combat pay today. It's dangerous down here. Hey, I told you. <laughs> it is not a game for the weak of heart, the faint of heart. We thought we were covering a basketball game, and that was, was checked into the boards. Oh, it's great hustle both ways. 11 in the first half, over seven minutes with no basket. And into the second half as Ramsey with the jump hook. Coming in. Crossover. Lost it. Safford comes away with it and now out on the wing to Taylor. Safford passed up the shot. Here's English, 15 footer. That's the Missouri swings it side to side. They get great looks. Well, just that point, Ron, about the Missouri huddle. You've heard me say. Three pointer on. 
on the way. Tim Ryan. Man, hold on to his 29 win straight home streak. Denman, three again. Sophomore from Kansas City. He is the first. And he said, we could see because we're less than two miles physically from Pullen. Offensive foul. Davis took the call. That's pretty good. Once you establish in front of the defender, you're allowed to move sideways and back. And Pullen initiated the contact by running him over. And this is why you have depth. Taylor, second one on the way, he got it. For those of you just joining us, here's what we got. 341 left in the ball game. We are top. And Mike Anderson can't look. He does not look at the second. Ballers at the line for the Tigers. JT Tiller checks back in for the Tigers. Second one goes. And it is now a Missouri one-point lead. Careful about fouling. Clemente, and they trap on him, and he has to call a timeout. <laughs> Got him both. At the paint. Nice bounce pass inside, and he threw the ball away. Not sure that Missouri needs to be in a hurry right here. Denman pushes it off the glass, though, with all the confidence in the world. Tiller, good guess, and he threw it away. Denman. Listen to this crowd. 14. Merriweather got caught in that corner. You talked about that, and then Denman knows he's going to take contact. Gets the foul, and he's going to go to the line. It's Frank Martin right here. This guy coaches with passion. The players love him now. They absolutely love him, but he's a bullet. 36 seconds, down to 35. Taylor for three. Listen to this crowd. Timeout called by Mike Anderson. Taylor missed a big shot. I told you last year in one week, defeated Kansas with the final shot. Defeated Texas with a final shot. And the, the audience went crazy. Well, there it is. Pullen got caught behind the screen. Taylor, a guy that's shooting 74%. So when you play the scouting report defense, you got to crowd him, double him off the pick and roll. He got too easy a look. Ron. 13 seconds remaining. Three point lead. 71-68. Gets the second one. Two-trip ball game. Goes down. Taken away by Missouri. The Missouri Tigers are going to make it 30 in a row at home. 